thank you for keeping some clouds away, Jackson. That's right. <laughs> Got a decent view of the eclipse. Yeah, I know everybody wanted to see it. I'm glad we did get to see it. You know, mm. because that would have been just such a huge bummer. Like, oh, Total. you know, it was clouds. close though. It was close. Some of people have to move over where we were. Thank but, goodness. But it all worked out in the end. That's what yes, matters. Yes, it did. And uh, you know, that's going to make for some nicer weather over the next couple of days. Uh, this is a live look from Hershey. Actually, a time lapse from Hershey over the course of the day. You're not going to really going to see the eclipse that well, but the weather was good for it. As you can see, a mix of sun, mix of clouds, but mostly sun. And as you got through the rest of the day, it was a great day outside to view that. And I hope you guys did, did get outside to actually go and view that. It was 67 degrees for that high today. Wow, very, very comfortable. Well above the average of 61 for this time of year. The low was much closer, but actually just a little bit cooler. Now we're sitting at about 48. Some of us further to the south, upper 60s to low 70s. Heading into the evening and overnight tonight, we're going to drop down to the mid 40s. And so not a huge drop from where we are right now. Winds remaining light, so that's not going to be any kind of a factor for you uh, that we're going to have to contend with over the next few days. As I've mentioned previously, we're going to warm up significantly by Tuesday, sitting at about 75 degrees, 70 for Wednesday as well. So two days in a row, you're going to experience some very beautiful outdoor weather. Then you drop down into the upper 50s by Saturday, but really I don't think that's much of a loss because that's still going to feel pretty good outside and what we're tracking right now and the reason that we're seeing some of this warmer air is that this higher pressure is moving on in and it's actually drawing in some warmer air from from down south. You also have this lower pressure that we're tracking that's bringing some severe weather to parts of Texas and Oklahoma, uh, certainly Louisiana. That's going to be moving in and bringing us some rain in the next couple of days and so that'll be something to really watch and track and really once we get into Tuesday, it's going to be quiet for the most part. Could see the stray shower. It's once we get into Wednesday that things really start to pick up in the afternoon um, and into the evening. So that is going to be kind of a th four, three day streak of rain that we're going to be watching in Thursday. Things really pick up. Then you get into Friday. Things do start to wind down. So for the week, you have that little stretch of rain right there. Then things kind of calm down heading into the weekend. Back into the 70s by Monday. So a lot to look forward to here. It really does feel like spring. Ooh. And uh, let's hope we can continue with this trend of just very beautiful weather.